New York's Attorney General is taking on MSG Entertainment Corporation for its use of facial recognition technology. Yeah, very controversial here. It's been used to prevent some people from entering its facilities. Fox 5's Robert Moses live at Madison Square Garden with a look at the policy that is being enforced. Very controversial here, Robert. It is, Dan and Tashani, and this got a whole lot of attention late last year. You may remember when an attorney who had been chaperoning her daughter's Girl Scout troops trip to Radio City Music Hall got kicked out of that venue shortly after she entered. The policy has been in effect here at the world's most famous arena as well. The question is, has MSG broken any laws in the process? New York's top law enforcement officer, Attorney General Letitia James, has given Madison Square Garden Entertainment, led by CEO James Dolan, until February 13th to justify its use of facial recognition technology to exclude lawyers involved in pending litigation against the company from its venues. In this letter to MSG attorneys dated Tuesday, James wrote that the policy may violate the New York civil rights law and other city, state, and federal laws prohibiting discrimination and retaliation for engaging in protected activity. She went on to say attempts to dissuade individuals from filing discrimination complaints or encouraging those in active litigation to drop their lawsuits so they may access popular entertainment events at the company's venues may violate state and city laws prohibiting retaliation. The company denies unlawfully prohibiting anyone from entering its venues. To even suggest anyone is being excluded excluded based on the protected classes identified in state and federal civil rights laws is ludicrous, an MSG spokesperson said. At least four attorneys involved in pending litigation against the company have been booted from its venues, which include Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall, and the Beacon Theater. The policy of using facial recognition technology to eject attorneys, implemented by Dolan, has generated controversy and anger from state lawmakers, including Senator Brad Hoyleman Siegel, who this week, along with other legislators, introduced legislation that would make the practice illegal. I think that James Dolan attacking attorneys in particular who work at law firms that have litigation against one of his properties sends a message that he's attempting to silence his critics. And that's just wrong. MSG says that after litigation is concluded, any of the attorneys involved will be allowed back into its venues again. Live at Madison Square Garden this morning, Dan and Tashani, back to you. Robert, thank you very much.